Hi folks, it's the author Angela C. Nurse here. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I mentioned last time that I have a wide and varied collection of earrings. Today's earrings, if you can see them properly on the camera there, are little classic minis. The classic mini is my favourite car. I learned to drive in one and I still own that car. So it only comes out on very special occasions, but I love that car still. Today I thought it'd be fun to talk about setting and in particular Cuddy Ford where that name came from and all of the little intricacies in it um, and why I, why I created it. So I live in Fife, I've mentioned that before, and there are some great towns and cities in Fife. Um, but what I wanted was somewhere where I could manipulate the places and I could decide what things existed, <clears throat> where they were and where they were in relation to one another. And none of the towns and cities in, in Fife quite had everything I wanted. And some of the things I wanted were things that had been in places historically. So in Jack in a Box, there is a abandoned bus station. In my mind, this is a bus station that used to be in Dunfermline um, in the 90s. And it had the bus station on the ground floor and a multi story car park above it. It was at the end of a shopping centre. It was later demolished and turned into a Debenham, so it simply doesn't exist anymore. Um, so this is one of the reasons I created a fictional town, but I wanted it to be in a real place because I wanted it to still be in Scotland and I wanted to still use other real places in Scotland. Um, so I placed Cuddy Ford in between Dunfermline and Kirkcaldy. There are lots of beautiful coastal towns and villages in that area, but I put this extra city in there as well, so I've cr increased the size of Fife slightly. Um, Cuddy Ford, the name itself, took a while for me to come up with. Trying to find something that actually didn't exist was harder than I thought. Um, the word Cuddy, there's a lot of, you can see that a lot of places in Scotland, Cuddy Lane, Cuddy Road, it's quite a, it's quite a common na area name. And there's a lot of places that end in Ford. So in the Dunfermline area, we have Cross Ford. I'm sure there are plenty of others. And so I took Cuddy, added Ford and made Cuddy Ford. Um, and that's where that name came from. And it's been really useful to me to have a fictional place to, to set the Roe McFarlane mysteries. It's, it's added a little bit of complication. I think anybody who writes in the science fiction or fantasy world, they do a lot of what's commonly called world building, uh, which is hard stuff. So you're creating whole new worlds from nothing, sometimes new um, ecosystems, languages, uh, magic systems, that sort of thing. I didn't have those sorts of issues, but I did have the kind of issues where you want to make sure that the place feels like it really exists. So I had to add in schools and shopping centres and estates and the merging of communities. So in Sally in the Woods, we have a situation where there's a, a an estate that has Built up, been built up around an old mining town, which then has a new estate built next to it, which has the quite expensive, quite um, popular for people to buy, first time buyers or larger houses, people wanting a brand new house. So, and, and how these communities rub along almost shoulder to shoulder. So, there's a lot of things I could do by having Cuddy Ford as opposed to working within the confines of Dunfermline or Kirkcaldy. And I know some authors who do this amazingly, like Marion Todd, her books, her, her the I Claire Mackay books are set in St Andrews and she brings St Andrews to life beautifully uh, and hats off to her for that, they're really good books, if you haven't read them you should. Um, and obviously Ian Rankin, James Oswald and Edinburgh, although I know that even they take some liberties with some streets uh, to add in a little bit of fiction. And in other ways there are some people who just make make create a fictional town like uh, Will Dean and his uh, Tuva Moodison books that they're created in a fictional town and they really hummed and hard about it to be honest as to whether it was right or for me or not but in the end I decided that having Cody Ford with a fictional town worked so much better for the Royal McFarlane mysteries than trying to stay in the confines of a real place. I hope, however, that it comes across in a, as a genuine place. Like I say, the bus station, I'm, I'm imagining something that did really exist. There are places that, as well that I have pulled into Cuddy Ford that exist elsewhere, 
but um, I've just made them part of Cardi for the, the woods in uh, Sally in the Woods. I'm basing that loosely off of the woods that are near where I live on the coastal path and also uh, a place called Davila Forest, which is not far from where I live. So it's those sorts of things combined. Uh, and it's been really exciting to create my own town. Um, I think I've said before, I would like to do some mapping for it. Um, and that would be a really great way to, to have a great thing to put in the front of the books. Jack in a Box is coming to you on the 26th of May, so not very long now. Really excited about publication date. Uh, I hope everyone really enjoys reading the book. And thank you again for joining me on my YouTube channel. And I hope to see you again soon. Have a lovely day, everyone. Bye bye.